Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. Waza hallelujah. Lift up your voice this evening and thank him for bringing you into another time with in his presence. Celebrate his holy name. Thank him for answer prayers this evening. We can only pray, but we cannot answer prayers. But to that great God that answers prayers, let's return all the glory back to him. Let's worship his holy name. Let's adore him, his word of praise. What a faithful God we serve. What a wonderful God we serve. The God, the God of wonder, God thank you. The God of this great commission, thank you. Thank you for answering us again. Thank you for the testimonies we have today. Blessed be your holiness. In Jesus' glorious name. Somebody shout a louder amen. Everything that you desire the Bible recommended that you put it in prayer. Mark 11 verse 24. Whatever ye desire. When you pray. Mnapoomba, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Aminini, mepata, Any desire that is not presented to God lolo, kwa mungu, is a desire that will not be granted. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza, hallelujah. In John chapter 4 verse 2 Yakobo, nembi, nembi. the Bible says specifically that you don't have because you ask not. Hauna kwa sababu huja what you don't ask is what you will not have. He said, because you ask not. Praise the Lord. I want you to ask. You came here today with any kind of ailment. With any kind of burden in your heart. With any kind of yoke. Jesus said, cast your body upon you because I care for you. I want you to ask, what you ask is what you receive. Lift up your voice and ask him. Whatever that is your desire today, it does not matter how many times you have asked. God daily loaded us with benefits. This is another healing service. Ask him to heal you of any Ask him to turn the servant for you. Ask him to wipe away that tears from your face. To change your story. You are his servant. You had a testimony of someone God changed her story. That God has not changed. He's no respecter of any person. He's no respecter of any any location. What he do to one, he will do to another. You are, you are part of Operation 615. You are part of Operation Monsabai. And you are part of Operation by all means. You are entitled to your healing. The Bible says you shall serve. And God shall bless. He will take away sickness. And you shall not be barren or cast into your and the number of your days God will fulfill he's taking away that sickness out your body he's taking away that sickness out of your body it is your entitlement in Christ somebody lift up your voice pray to your heavenly father if there is a man to pray there is a God to answer if there is a woman to pray there is a God to answer God has no other business in heaven than to answer prayers if you pray hundred times, a right, he will answer you hundred times. He cannot tell you that he is tired of answering you. If you are not tired of praying, God is not tired of answering you. If that challenge will not stop your prayers, your prayers will stop your challenge. If that temptation will not stop your prayers, your prayers will solve every situation of your life. 
Lift up your voice and pray. Inua sauti yako na wombe. Oh yela ba ki atalia ba. Inua sauti yako na wombe. Thank you Jesus. Asante bwana Yesu. In Jesus glorious name. Katika jina la utukufu la Yesu. Send your word to me. Bwana nitumie neno lako. The Bible people gathered want to hear him and to be healed of your sickness. Anasema watu hukusanyika kwake wasikie na wapone. Jesus want to heal. Kila wakati Yesu anapotaka kukuona. First of all send his word. Kwanza anatuma neno lako. send your word to me today. Bwana nitumie neno lako. Lord that healing word. Hilo neno la uponyaji. Lord the sent to us. Neno lilo tuko. The word in season. Neno la nyakati. The right word. Neno sahihi. Lift up your voice Lord send your word to me today. Ndio sauti yako mwambie Mungu nitumie neno. His word and the word healed them. Ulituma neno na neno lako. And deliver them from all the adversaries. Kwa <laughs> Eketo shakaba likato shalaba. Lord, send that healing word to someone today. Let no sickness escape the power in your word today. Oh Jesus, you are speaking. Oh, and the power of God was present. Lord, let there be enactment of Luke five seventeen in this service today by the power of the word and the communion table. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Bwana Yesu. We bless and appreciate Him. Lord, we are ready for Your word this morning. This evening, we are ready for Your word. Send Your word to us again and again. Lord, Thy healing word. The word in season. Send it to your people this evening. At the end, only you will receive all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. We have come. We open up. So let the ancient world be in power. We have come. We open up, so let the ancient world be found. Ancient world, ancient world, ever to change me and change me. Only you will receive all the glory. We will pick you, pick you to go forward. In Jesus' glorious name. Somebody shout a louder amen. Please have your seat. Tukai. You are welcome again in Jesus' name. Karibu tena katika jina la Yesu. Somebody shout a louder amen. Haza amina. God will visit you today. Mungu ata kutembelea wewe leo. In Jesus' name. Katika jina kula Yesu. We are still in operation by all means. Bado tuko katika operation kwa namna zote ya kwanjia zote. It's the second week of operation by all means. Ni wiki yetu ya pili. 
in case you have not been part of it in prayers mm. and in reaching out to people please do so Tafadhali fanya hivyo. It is for your own change of levels. Ni kwa ajili ya badiliko lako. We have a mandate of one winner one so every week. Tuna agizo la kila mshindi nafsi moja kila juma. Make sure that this Sunday coming Jumapili hii inayokuja you are coming with one additional soul. Hakikisha angalau unamkaribisha mtu kuja kanisani. And also be reminded. Lakini pia ukumbuke that you have a responsibility of seeing 12 standing souls between now and October 7th. Unao wajibu wa kuhakikisha nafsi 12 kati ya sasa mpaka tarehe 7 mwezi wa 10. Planted in the church. Wamethibitika na kuimarika kanisani. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. What if that that testimony we read today the person did not participate in operation 615. Vipi ushuhuda huu tuliosoma leo kama huyo mtu asingeshiriki katika hiyo operation? Maybe she could remain where she was. Angebaki vile vile kama alivyokuwa. But she had got change her story. Lakini ona Mungu alivyobadilisha hadithi yake. And the one she sent that testimony to WhatsApp. Na ametuma huo ushuhuda kupitia WhatsApp. With pictures and the video of the show. Ametuma amepiga picha duka lake na video and what, pia. They are also in my WhatsApp. Na pia vipo kwenye WhatsApp. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just for I just for did it to Pastor Sadi go to read tonight. Nimetumia tu mchungaji Saliboko ili usome jioni hiyo. How hayo. God can turn the story of someone around. Jinsi Mungu anavyoweza kubadilisha hadithi ya mtu? By keen into Operation 615. Kwa kushikilia maelekezo haya ya operation hii. Maybe mwani. your change of story is tied to operation by omit. Labda na wewe badiliko lako ni pale utakapojihusisha na operation hii kwa Jesus. My prayer is that you will not miss it. Ombi langu ni kwamba hautakosa. I say my prayer is that you will not miss it. Nasema ombi langu ni kwamba hautakosa. The Bible say <laughs> the Lord that see it in secret. Biblia inasema Mungu aonae sirini. We didn't know that she was praying in the night. Hatukujua kama anaomba usiku. We didn't know she was using her lunch hour to pray. Hatukujua kama anatumia wakati we didn't know that she attends there at Pastor Saliboko's office. But her testimony is open today. I don't know your secret service you have entered. But God will bless you openly. And not hearing a louder amen. And not hearing a louder amen. Keep on engaging. Endelea kujishugulisha. Very soon we will read your own testimony. Si mrefu, si mrefu, and not hearing a louder amen. Sema amina. The prophetic focus for this month is I will restore health unto you. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. God speaking to you and I. I will restore health unto you. And I will heal thee of thy wounds. Says the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast. Saying this is Zion. Whom no man seeketh after. God will restore health unto you today. Jeremiah 33 verse Sis. He said, I will bring you health and care. And I will cure them. And I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace. Sickness takes away peace from men. But he said, when I cure you, Anasema ni kikuponya. I will restore the peace. Nita kurejeshea amani. And you will know the truth. Na utaijua kweli. And the truth will keep you held on the days of your life. Na hiyo kweli itakufanya uendele kuwa mzima siku zote. We have been looking at receiving the miracle of instant healing. Tumekua tukiangale kichwa cha somo kinacho sema kupokea muujiza wa uponyaji wa papo hapo. This is part two. Leo ni sehemi ya pili. And specifically today. Kimaalumu kabisa leo. We've been looking at receiving the miracle of instant healing to you. The instrument of violent faith. Leo tunangalia kichwa kinacho sema kupokea muujiza uponyaji wa papo hapo. To the power of violent faith. Kupitia imani ya fujo au ya mabavu. Let me say this to you. Niseme hili kwako. That God's ultimate plan for us. Mpango wa mungu kwa jiri yetu. Is to live a sickness free life. Ni kwamba tuishi maisha ya siyo na magonjwa. Don John verse 2. Waraka wa tatu wa Yohana B. Say I wish above all things. Natamani zaidi ya vyote. That I may as prosper. Ili mfanikiwe. And be in good health. Na muwe katika afya njema. Even as thy soul prosper. Kama nafsi yako ifanikiwa. You know there is a difference between healing and health. Kuna tofauti kati ya uponyaji na afya. Healing is a state of 
recovering from illness. Why doubt is a state of no sickness. And God's ultimate plan for us is health. To be sick and receive healing. It's not God's best. God's best is for us to live in divine health. To have divine life continually flowing. From our spirit man. To our physical body. Praise the Lord. That is God's best. Healing is his permissive way. But health is his perfect will. That's why Jesus healed you tonight. Don't don't expect any sickness. Again. See yourself living a sickness-free life. And it is possible. Many are in Darwin today. And if you are not there, you are coming into Darwin. The situation whereby from day to day, a situation whereby from day to day, from week to week, Wiki hadi wiki. From month to month. Mwezi hadi From mwezi. year to year. Mwaka hadi mwaka. No sickness at all. Hakuna magonjo kabisa. That is a realm God is moving you to. Hicho ndio kiwango ambacho Mungu anakuingiza huko. I'm not allowed here, man. Sema amen. The last sickness you suffer shall be the last. Ule ugonjo wa mwisho ulioumwa ndio wa mwisho hautaumwa tena. For every provision of scripture. Kwa kila ugavi wa maandiko. Make a capital of faith on us. A capital demand of faith on us. Linadai imani toka kwetu. There is nothing God has provided Hakuna chochota bacho Mungu amesema that ever becomes a reality. Ambacho kitakuwa halisi. In anyone's life out of it. Katika maisha yoyote. There is nothing God has provided. Hakuna chochota bacho Mungu amekitoa. That becomes a reality in anyone's life. Ambacho kitafanyika kuwa halisi. Aside of it. Nje ya imani. He faith is a must. Imani ni lazima to be healed and to remain in the healing. Ili uponywe na ubaki katika afya njema. The healing Jesus. Yesu mponyaji. We not manifest without faith. Hawezi kudhihirika pasipo imani. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6. Waebrania 11:6. The Bible say without faith. Pasipo imani. It is impossible to please God. Haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. He that come to God for healing. Yeye ajaye kwa Mungu kutaka uponyaji. Lazima kwanza aamini. That he has the power. Kwamba ana uwezo. He has the ability. Ana uwezo. He has the capability. Ana uwezo na nguvu za kuponya. Many people come to him. Watu wengi wanamjia yeye. But they are doubting his healing virtue. Lakini wanatia mashaka nguvu yake uponyaji. Wana mashaka. They believe what medical science says. Wana amini kile daktari anacho sema. They despise what the word of God says. Wana dharau kile neno la mungu linacho sema. Faith is a must. Imani ni lazima. If you are not healed, ask your faith. Kama hujapona, jiulize imani yako. If you are not healed, ask your faith. Kama hujapona, jiulize imani yako. I'm Bishop Benson in the house of blessed memory. Ask of Davis or Davis in the house. I have that book and I've read it. He titled that book. If your faith said yes, God will not say no. Then if your faith said yes, God will not say no. Then if your faith said yes, God will not say no. Then if your faith said yes, God will not say no. Then if your faith said yes, God will not say no. Then if your faith said yes, God will not say no. Then if your faith said yes, God will not say no. Then if your faith said yes, God will not say no. Anangoja imani yako. He's always ready to say yes. Yuko tayari kusema ndiyo. But if your faith is saying yes. Lakini imani yako kama inasema ndiyo. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. I said somebody shout hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. I'm not hearing a louder hallelujah. Yes, yeah, hallelujah. I'm not hearing a louder hallelujah. Yes, yeah, hallelujah. I want your faith to say yes today. Nataka imani yako iseme ndiyo leo. Everything in this kingdom is according to your faith. Kila kitu kwenye ufalme huu ni sawa sawa na imani yako. People understand that faith is a foundation of your healing and total health. Elewa kwamba imani ndiyo msingi wa uponyaji wako. Faith is a capital demand on all who desire to assess the healing virtue God carries. Imani ndiyo msingi wa nguvu yoyote ya uponyaji ambao unaitaka kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Habakuki mbili ne. The Bible said the just shall live by faith. Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. The just shall live by his faith. Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani yake. From that scripture we find out. Kutoka kwenye andiko hilo tunagundua kwamba. That life can only be sustained. 
Maisha yanaweza kutunzwa tu as long as faith is at work. Maadamu imani inatenda kazi. The joy shall live by his faith. Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani yake. And from that scripture also. Na kutoka kwenye andiko hilo pia. As the word the king James use and every one of them he is faith. Kwa kuna neno ambalo umetumia anasema kwa imani yake. Mess faith personal. Imani ni binafsi. Mess faith personal. Inafanya imani kuwa kitu cha binafsi. Faith is personal. Imani ni binafsi. You all you need is your faith. Unachohitaji ni imani. You don't need your neighbor's faith to be here. Uhitaji imani ya jirani ili wewe upone. It is your own faith. Ni imani yako. It is your own faith. Ni imani yako. The just shall live by his faith. Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith is like a spiritual oxygen. Imani ni kama oxygen ya kiroho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What oxygen is to human life? Jinsi ilivyo oxygen kwa mwanadamu. Is what faith is your spiritual life? Ndivyo imani ilivyo kwenye maisha yako ya kiroho. Without oxygen a human life will not live. Will Pasipo, not will die. Pasipo oxygen mwanadamu anakufa. Anakatishwa maisha yake. The same way faith is. Vivyo hivyo na imani ilivyo. Our spiritual life. Katika maisha yetu ya kiroho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No sickness. Hakuna ugonjwa. Or disease can kill a man of faith. Ambao unaweza kumuua mtu wa imani. Because faith is not killable. Kwa sababu imani haiuawi. The only thing that can kill a man of faith. Kitu pekee kinachoweza kumuua mtu wa imani. Is that that can kill God. Ni kile ambacho kinaweza kumuua Mungu. Faith is God and God is faith. Imani ni Mungu na Mungu ni imani. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. Now what is faith? Imani ni nini? Among other things we know. Kati ya vingi tunavyovijua. I have said here it is not in definition of faith. Nimesema haiko kwenye tafsiri ya imani. In fact faith is not defined by its definition. Imani haitafsiriwi kwa tafsiri faith au maelezo. Faith is defined by its manifestation. Imani inatafsiriwa kwa udhihirisho. It is not defined by its definition. Sio yale maelezo ya tafsiri ya imani. Rather it is defined by its manifestation. Imani inaonyesha kwa udhihirisho. Apostle Paul was preaching. Mtume Paulo alikuwa anahubiri. He perceived that someone and have faith to be healed. Akaona kwamba kuna mtu ana imani ya kuponya. Faith is seeable. Imani inaonekana. You can perceive it. Unaweza ukaiona. When somebody has it you can see it. Mtu akiwa na imani unaiona. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. But let's say, say this. Lakini tuseme hili. The faith is a practical expression. Imani ni kielelezo cha wazi of confidence in God and in his cha ujasiri katika Mungu na neno lake. It is not just confidence. Sio tu ujasiri. Practical Lakini expression. Ute, utendeaji when kazi. You have confidence in God and what God says. Unapokuwa na ujasiri na Mungu na kile Mungu alichosema. And you express it practically. Na ukaketendea kazi. Without that word practical there is no faith. Pasipo hilo neno kutendea kazi hauna imani. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. It is not a matter of I have I believe. Sio swala la ninaamini. It is your action that show that you believe. Ni lile tendo linaloonyesha kwamba unaamini. And that's why the Bible says faith without action is dead. Kwa maana Biblia inasema imani pasipo matendo imekufa. It's important. Haina nguvu. It cannot deliver anything. Haiwezi kuleta matokeo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every creature believe that there is God. Kila kiumbe kinaamini kwamba Mungu yuko. Everyone that don't believe the Bible call him a fool. Biblia chochote yote ambaye haamini Biblia anamwita mpumbavu. Ni mpumbavu ndio anasema hakuna Mungu. But you God is not a, 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 it's not a wonderful thing. Kwamba unaamini kwamba kuna Mungu sio kitu cha ajabu. Even the devil also believe. Hata shetani naye anaamini. Genesis chapter 2 verse 19. Yakobo 2:19. The Bible says that believer that there is one God. Biblia inasema kila mtu anaamini kwamba kuna Mungu mmoja. That do was well. Wewe umefanya vizuri. He said the devil also believe and Shetani naye anaamini. The devil also believe. Shetani naye anaamini. What, what differentiate your faith is your practical expression. Tofauti ya imani yako ni pale unapotendea kazi. Verse 20. Mstari wa 20. Verse 20. Mstari wa 20. Genesis 2 verse 20. Yakobo 2:20. He said but oh but without oven man lakini wataka kujua faith without work is dead. Kwamba imani pasipo matendo haizai Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was not Abraham our father justified by works? Je, baba yetu Ibrahim hakuhesabiwa haki kwa matendo? He offered Isaac. Hapo alipomtoa Isaka mwanae. He upon the altar. Juu ya madhabahu. He was justified by works. Alihesabiwa kwa matendo. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. With a practical expression. Pasipo kutendea kazi imani. God has said it. Mungu amesema. And I believe it. Nimeamini. And I act it. Nikatendea kazi. Faith is equal to conviction. You are convinced of what God said. Imani ni kule kushawishika kwa yale aliyosema Mungu. Confession. Ukakiri. You confess it with your mouth. Umekiri kwa kinywa chako. And action. 
Alafu ukatendea kazi. Umetendea kazi. Confession without action will lead to confusion. Kukiri pasipo matendo inakuleta kuchanganyikiwa. Practical expression of confidence in God. Kutendea kazi kimatendo kwa ule ujasiri katika Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Somebody praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Faith in God. Imani katika Mungu. Is the debt of sicknesses and diseases. Ndicho kinachoshughulikia magonjwa na maradhi. When you trust God. Unapomtumaini Mungu. Sicknesses cannot trace you. Magonjwa hayawezi kukupata. When you trust God. Unapomtumaini Mungu. Sicknesses cannot trace you. Magonjwa hayawezi kukupata wewe. What is faith? Imani ni nini? Faith is being fully persuaded. Imani ni kule kushawishika kikamilifu. Of, of the truth kwa kweli the prevailing circumstances no we stand bila kujali changamoto unayopitia until the truth triumph paka ile kweli inaposhinda being fully persuaded kule kushawishika that god have said that he took my infirmity kwa mungu amesema ametoa udhaifu wangu persuaded that he took my infirmity umeshawishika kwamba alichukua magonjwa yake that by his stripes i am healed mungu amesema kwa kupigwa kwake nimepona i am fully persuaded nimeshawishika kikamilifu no ship my god na wala sitiki siki until the truth triumph paka ile kweli inaposhinda changes in my life paka nione badiliko maisha ni mwangu i see my i see physically my healing paka nione uponyaji wangu halisia been fully persuaded ni kule kushawishika kikamilifu that was what kept abraham going ndicho kilichomfanya abraham kuendelea romans chapter 4 verse 17 to 21 warumi 4:17:21 romans chapter 4 verse 17 to 21 warumi 4:17:21 god told him i have made you a father of many nations mungu akamwambia nimekufanya yeye kuwa baba mataifa mengi he believe even God who picked the dead and calling those things that be not as though they were and verse 18 Stalo 18 who against who believe naye aliamini kwa kutarajia asiweza kutarajiwa he might become the father of many nations ili apate kuwa baba mataifa mengi why according to that which was spoken kama ilivyo nenwa so shall i see ndivyo utakavyokuwa uzao wako the bible say in verse 19 biblia inasema 19 be not weak in faith yeye asiyekuwa dhaifu wa imani consider not his own body alifikiri hali ya mwili wake don't consider the symptoms usiangalie dalili don't consider the medical report usiangalie ile taarifa ya daktari consider what god said Angalia kile Mungu alichokisema. Abraham didn't consider his own body. Abraham hakuangalia mwili wake unasemaje. He became weak and weak. Ai ulikuwa unaendelea kuwa dhaifu. By reason of age. Kwa kusababu ya umri. He was about 100 years old. Alikuwa na miaka 100. Neither the, the womb of Sarah that was already dead. Wala hali ya kufa kwa tumbo la Sara. They didn't consider it. Hakuangalia hayo. Verse 20. 20. What kept them going? Nini kilichofanya waendelee? He staggered not at the promise of God. Lakini akiona ahadi ya Mungu hakusita kwa kutokuamini. Kwa kutokuamini. They were strong in faith. Bali alitiwa nguvu kwa imani. Shina moja. Huku akijua hakika that what God have said. Ya kuwa Mungu aweza kufanya. That God is able. Yale aliyoahidi. Our unbelief comes because we we don't believe that God is able to do. Hatuamini kwa sababu Hatuamini kama Mungu anaweza kufanya. Can you give me another translation of verse 21? Mstari wa 21 tafadhali. Another translation. He was fully persuaded. Huko akijua hakika that God is able. Kwamba Mungu anaweza. The Bible says that's new living translation. Hiyo tafsiri. He was absolutely convinced. Alishawishika kikamilifu. That God was able to do anything he promised. Kwamba Mungu ana uwezo kufanya chochote alichokiahidi. He really convinced that God is able to do what he promised. Ye, yeah. umeshawishika kwamba Mungu anaweza kufanya kile alichoahidi? Another translation. Tafsiri nyingine. Amplify hiyo fully satisfied ameridhika kabisa na kuwa na uhakika kwamba Mungu anaweza na ana nguvu ya kulitunza neno lake what he have promised na kufanya kile alichokiahidi Abraham was sure see God as a mighty God Abraham alikuwa akimwona Mungu mwenye uweza that whatever God says he creates chochote Mungu anachokisema ana kiumba somebody shout hallelujah Paza hallelujah being fully persuaded kushawishika kikamilifu I normally tell you here. Mara zote wanakuambia that delay is not denial. Kwamba kucheleweshwa haimaanishi utanyimwa. But the Holy Spirit many start to me the other day. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu aliniambia delay not doing anything can be a denial. Akasema kucheleweshwa na hufanyi kitu unaweza ukakosa. 
not doing anything can be a denial. Kimecheleweshwa na wewe hufanye kitu unaweza kunyimwa. You are delayed. Kama kimechelewa. And you sit down folding your hand not doing anything. Umekaa chini umekunja mikono. Not applying the scriptures. Hautendei kazi maandiko. Not moving to do what is required. Hauendi kufanya kile kinachotakiwa. It can lead to denial. Basi utanyimwa hautapata. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Don't sit down and say God will do it one day. Usikae chini ukasema Mungu siku moja atafanya. Your healing has been delayed. Kama uponyaji wako umechelewa. Don't sit down waiting for healing. Usikae chini kungoja. You step up to take it by force. Chukua kwa lazima. Since the time of John the Baptist until now. Kama tangu wakati Yohana Baptiza jana. The kingdom of God suffered violence. Kama Mungu atoka kwa nguvu. And only the violent take it by force. Na wenye nguvu tu ndio wanauteka. Kama you to take your healing by force. Kama uko tayari kuchukua kwa lazima. You are ready to be healed. Uko tayari kupona. Na hiyo nguvu ndio inaitwa nguvu ya imani. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is mighty to do what he has said. Mungu ana uwezo wa kufanya alichokisema. That was what kept Abraham going. Ndicho kilichomfanya Abraham akaendelea kufanya. Kila tendo la Mungu is a response to the fate of men. Ni mwitikio wa imani ya watu. Matthew 9:29. Mathayo 9:29. They got their healing because of their faith. Walipata uponyaji kwa sababu ya imani yao. Jesus said, "Be it unto you." Yesu akasema na iwe kwenu. He touched their eyes and say, "According to your faith, be it unto you." Akagusa macho yake akasema sawa sawa na imani yenu mpate. In this kingdom it is to you according to your faith. Katika ufalme huu ni iko sawa sawa na unavyoamini. You don't wait for miracles here. Usingoje miujiza. You engage your faith to walk miracles. Tumia imani yako kuchukua muujiza wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't wait for things to change. Usingoje mambo yabadilike. Make things to change. Fanya mambo yabadilike. By taking scriptural steps. Kwa kuchukua hatua za kiroho. Every testimony someone shared. Kila ushuhuda anaotoa mtu. Is as a result of scriptural steps. Ni matokeo ya hatua alizochukua. It does not happen by waiting. Haitokei kwa kutamani. I believe it is my year of new dawn. Naamini ni mwaka wangu wa pambazuko jipya. you doing to see new dawn Unafanya nini ili kuona pambazuko jipya? Bwana asifiwe. Bishop Redepo have said. Askofu anasema. Miracles are not accidental occurrences. Miujiza sio mambo yanayotokea kwa bahati mbaya. They are deliberate act of God. Ni matendo ya hiari ya Mungu. Provoked by desperate faith of the saints. Yanayochochewa na imani za watakatifu. When we talk about faith we are talking about action of the saints. Tunapozo zungumzia imani tunazungumzia matendo ya watakatifu imani yako is your life ndio maisha yako life is at risk where faith is in active maisha yako hatarini pale imani inapokuwa hamna life is vulnerable when we have faith is in active maisha ni muhanga wakati imani inapokuwa haipo it is faith that connects you to the healing virtue of god ni imani ndio inayokuunganisha na nguvu ya uponyaji ya mungu not just faith sio tu imani imani ya fujo imani ina kuleta kwenye daraja la Mungu Marko 9:23 yote yanawezekana kama tu utaamini yote yanawezekana kwa yeye aminiye hakuna uponyaji ambao hauwezekani kama utaamini Marko 10:27 The Bible said to man it is not possible. Kwa wanadamu haiwezekani. Not with God. Lakini sio kwa Mungu. For with God all things are possible. Maana yote yawezekana kwa Mungu. When go with God all things are possible. Kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana. With faith all things are possible. Na kwa imani yote yanawezekana. Not with God. I will put you in the class of God. Ni imani ndio nakuleta kwenye daraja la Mungu. There is no healing that is not possible. Hakuna uponyaji ambao hauwezekani. Even tonight. Hata jioni ya leo. I want to about faith. Kitu kimoja kuhusiana imani. Imani ni nguvu ya sasa. Yule anayesema Mungu atafanya kesho. Mwingine anasema mimi nataka sasa hivi. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1. Waibrania 11:1. Now faith is the substance of things. Sasa imani ni mambo yaliyotarajiwa. Faith is a now force. Imani ni nguvu ya sasa. define it this way. Tumisho Mungu anaitafsiri hivi. Imani ni nguvu ya sasa. Iliyochotwa katika neno la sasa. Ili kukupa kithibitisho cha sasa. Kwenye ulimwengu wako wa sasa. Mungu hawezi kukuambia njoo kesho. Wakati ana uponyaji wako sasa. Kwa sababu hawezi kuwa na nguvu kesho kuliko alivyo leo. Ndio maana wale ambao wameamini uponyaji wao sasa. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. The Bible says now. Sasa. 
unto him that is able. God is always able now. Mungu siku zote anaweza sasa. Unto him that is able. To do exceedingly. Abundantly. Kwa utele. Above what we ask. Zaidi ya yale tuombayo. Now is the accepted time. Sasa ndio wakati uliokubalika. Now is the day of healing. Sasa ndio siku ya uponyaji. When do you want your healing? Unataka lini uponyaji wako? I ask you when do you want your healing? Ni lini unataka kupona? And you shall receive it now. Na utapokea sasa hivi. I say you shall receive it Nasema now. Nasema utapokea sasa hivi. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina kula Yesu. But violent faith is a key to instant healing miracles. Imani ya fujo ndio ufunguo kupata miujiza yako ya pako hapo. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. Timothy wa kwanza 6:12. Fight a good fight of faith. Vipige vita vizuri vya imani. Hold on eternal life. Shikilia uzima wa milele. 6 verse 12. Sita kumina Shikiria uzima wa milele. Fight a good fight of faith. Vipige vita vizuri vya imani. You need a fight of faith. Una vipiga vita vizuri vya imani. Hold on your healing fight. Shika uponyaji wako. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16. Wa Efeso 6:16. Above all taking the shield of faith. Zaidi ya yote ukitoa ngao ya imani. You shall be able. Na kwa hiyo utaweza. Quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Kuizima mishale yote ya mwovu. One of the fiery darts of the wicked is sickness and disease. Moja mishale ya mwovu ni magonjwa na maradhi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hasa hallelujah. First John chapter five verse four. He said, "What so over that is born of God overcometh the world." And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage our faith, we overcome sickness and disease. Every time we engage Don't sit down. Usikai chini. And wait for your healing. Na kungoja uponyaji. Fight for it. Pigana. Fight for it. Pigana kwa ajili ya hili. Bishop Oedipo often say. Askof mara nyingi wanasema. The faith that makes God absolutely responsible. Imani inayomwachia Mungu majukumu yote. For the event of your life. Kwa ajili ya masuala ya maisha yako. It's an irresponsible faith. Ni imani isiyo kuwa na matokeo. The faith that makes God absolutely responsible. Imani inayomwachia Mungu majukumu yote. The event of your life. Kwa ajili ya matukio yako binafsi. It's an irresponsible faith. Ni imani ambayo haiwajibiki na haina matokeo. Many Christians. Hii ndio changamoto ya wengi. I say I know God will believe I believe God he will do it. Anasema naamini Mungu atatenda tu siku. I know he will do it. Ipo siku Mungu atafanya. There is always work to do. Siku zote kuna cha kufanya. To provoke God to do His work. Ili kumchochea Mungu kufanya. You need violent faith. Unahitaji imani ya mabavu. For your instant healing test. Kwa ajili ya ushuhuda wako. Let's look at illustration of violent faith. Tuangalie kielelezo cha imani ya mabavu. That provoke healing in scriptures. Inachochea uponyaji katika maandiko. The first one is Mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 12. Marko 2:1-12. The paralytic man and his roof tearing faith. Yule mtu aliyekuwa amepoza na wakatoa paa. The Bible recorded in this scripture. Biblia imeandika that this man was paralyzed. Huyu mtu alikuwa amepoza and his four friends. Na marafiki zake wanne. Can you give it to me in uh, NIV? I read it in NIV today. It, it, gave, it gave us more understanding. Mark chapter 2 verse 1. Malcolm Bill verse 1. Sasa kwanza. He said a few days later when Jesus again entered into Capernaum akaingia kapelano na mte na baada ya siku kadhaa ikasikiwa kwamba yumo nyumbani so many gathered that there was no room left wakakusanyika wengi isibaki nafasi hata mlangoni hata mlangoni he preached the word to them akawa akisema nao neno lake some men came wakaja watu bringing to him a paralytic wakamleta mtu mwenye kupoza carried by four of them amechukuliwa na watu wanne And since they could not get him, walipokuwa hawawezi kumkaribia. Since they could not get him to Jesus, hawakuweza kumkaribia Yesu. Because of the crowd, kwa sababu ya makutano, they made an open in the roof. Walitoboa dhari above Jesus. Pale alipokuwa Yesu. And after digging through it, na baada e. Lowered the mat the paralyzed man was lying on. Wakatele misha godolo alilo dilaria yule mwenye kupoza. And Jesus saw their faith. Na Yesu alipona imani yao. Jesus left everyone he was talking to. Yesu akawacha wote alikuwa na ugiana. He saw their faith. Akaiona imani yao. And said to the paralytic man. Akamwambia yule mwenye kupoza. Son, your sins are forgiven. Mwanangu dambezako zimesamehewa. Those that he was talking to. Wala liyokuwa na sema nao. Started 
Mama wen. Wakaanza kunungunika. Who is this man that can forgive Kwani sins? Kwani huyu ni nani anaweza kusamehe dhambi? Who is Allah? Bwana asifiwe. Maybe that man was praying in the heart. Labda huyo mtu alikuwa anaomba nyumbani. God forgive me. Mungu nisamehe. And heal me. Niponye. Because there is forgiveness of sin first before healing. Kwa sababu kwanza mtu anasamehewa dhambi ndipo anaponywa. Mstari wa 12. The man got up immediately. Yule mtu akaondoka. Hallelujah. Akajituka godolo lake. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. He got up akaondoka akajituka godoro lake katoka mbele yao hata wakastaajabu wote wakamtukuza Mungu wakisema namna hii hatujapata kuona kamwe vipi kama wasingetoa dari imani huwa haiangalii utaratibu kumbuka ile nyumba haikuwa yao hawakuwaza mwenye nyumba atasemaje that many people even at the door many, many people were there hata watu wengi walikuwa pale many people will be discouraging them watu wengi wakatisha mama maybe shouting i say what are you doing wangewapigia kelele mnafanya nini their faith was intact lakini imani yao ilikuwa sawa they will move the roof wakaondoa ta pa follow the roof wakapitishia kutoka darini wakamshusha yule jesus must see this man today yes jesus didn't see them Yesu hakuwaona. Alicho kiona ni imani yao. Kama Yesu anaweza kuiona imani yako leo. Hiyo changamoto yako imeisha. Somebody shout a louder amen. Hazamina. Somebody shout a louder amen. Hazamina. The second one is a man called Blind Bartimaeus. Mfano wa pili ni yule mtu anaitwa Kipofu Bartimaeus. Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52. Marko 10 46 to 52. He heard about Jesus was there. Alisikia kuhusiana na Yesu. I watch a clip of it recently. Niliangalia clip fulani. They acted it in a film. Wame wame act. He, he was blind. Alikuwa kipofu. But he only had people passing. Lakini akawasikia watu wanapita. He had people passing. Akasikia watu wanapita. That was the way they acted it. Divo, uh, divo And he touched somebody. Akamgusa mtu. What is happening? Akamwambia kuna nini? They told him that Jesus of Nazareth is passing. Yesu wa Nazareth anapita. He started crying. Akaanza kupiga kelele. Jesus, that Yesu, son of David. Mwana wa Daudi. Have mercy on me. Ni rehemu. Jesus the son of David Yesu mwana wa Daudi have mercy on me Nirehemu. and they were telling him you are disturbing Wakana us ambia, They were telling him to stop there he will not stop Nyamaza. But within a short time Muda sio mrefu Many people we are following Jesus Wengi walikuwa wanamfuata Yesu Jesus stop Yesu akasimama I say call him Akasema mwiteni They brought him Wakamleta Hallelujah Hallelujah The same people that told him Watu wale wale walio mwambia Acha kelele. The people that say he collected. Wale wale wakasema anakuita. And he cast his garment. Akatupa vazi lake. Rose and came to Jesus. Akasimama kamwendea Yesu. And Jesus answered and said unto him. Yesu akamuuliza. What do you want? Unataka nini? Jesus all Jesus was aware that he was sick. He was, he was blind. Ana macho alikuwa anaona kabisa kwamba huyu mtu ni kipofu. Jesus always asked what do you want? Siku zote anakuuliza wewe unataka nini? Kama Thomas say I want to receive my sight. Kipofu Batuma akasema nataka kuona. I want to receive my sight. Nataka kuona. It asking you what do you want? Anakuuliza na wewe unataka nini? Jesus what you want? Na umwambie Yesu unataka nini? I'm verse 53. Msali wa 53. I'm verse 53. Jesus say in verse 52. Msali wa 52 Yesu akasema. Enenda zako. Thy faith have made you whole. Imani yako imekufanya kuwa mzima. Immediately he receive his sight. Pale pale akapata kuona. Immediately. Pale pale. Immediately. Pale pale. If you can see receive your sight now. Kama unaweza begin to see now. Kama uweze kuona pokea ukonyaji. Receive your sight. Yesu anakuambia pokea sasa. According to your faith. Kulingana na imani yako. Somebody shout a louder amen. Azamina. Another illustration of violent faith provoke healing in scripture. Kielelezo kingine cha imani ya mababu. The centurio and his great faith. Ni yule akida na imani yake. In Matthew chapter 8 reading from verse 8 to 13. Mathayo 8:8 18. This man came to Jesus. Huyu mtu alimwendea Yesu. And complained to Jesus I have a servant that that is sick. Akamwambia Yesu nina mgonjwa fanya kazi wangu ni mgonjwa. Jesus say I'm coming. Yesu akamwambia anakuja. But in verse 8 the centurion say I am not I am not worthy. Yule akida akasema bwana mimi sistahili. That you should come to my roof. Kwamba wewe uje chini ya dali yangu. Speak the word only. Sema neno tu. And my servant shall be healed. Na mtumishi wangu atapona. The thing surprised Jesus. Hicho kitu kamshangaza Yesu. He say I'm a man under authority. Akasema mimi mwenyewe niko kwenye mamlaka. And I say to this one go. Nikimwambia huyu nenda. Anaenda. And to another come. Nikimwambia mwingine njo. Anakuja. And to my servant do this. Na kwa mtumishi wangu fanya hiki. Anafanya. And when Jesus heard it. Yesu aliposikia. He marveled. Akashangaa. And say akasema. Say those that followed him. Akaambia wale waliomfuata. I say unto you I have not found so great faith. Ninawaambia sijawahi kuona imani 
kuu ya namna hii pia hapa Israeli hallelujah hallelujah i say hallelujah hallelujah i'm fast 13 13 and verse 13 13 Jesus say go thy way Na Yesu akamwambia yule akida Nenda zako na iwe kwako kama ulivyoamini So it be done unto thee Iwe kama ulivyoamini And the Bible say he servant that was in the house was healed the same hour Mtumishi wake aliyekuwa nyumbani akapona saa ile ile Hallelujah Hallelujah Somebody shout hallelujah Haza hallelujah Look at a woman of Cana Cana Angalia yule mwanamke mkana nayo that will not let go. Ambaye hakumwachia Yesu Ni imani ya mabavu liko kitenda kazi. Matthew 15:22 to 28. Matthew 15:22 to 28. 15:22 Mathayo 15. Woman was following Jesus. Huyu mwanamke alikuwa anamfuata Yesu. Disturbing looking for healing. Akitafuta uponyaji. And the, and the disciples was pushing the woman away. Wanafunzi walikuwa wanamsukuma huyu mama. Say my daughter is vexed with a devil. Akasema binti yango amepagawa na pepo. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Jesus answered her no word. Yesu hakumjibu neno. And the disciples and came and say Send her away. She quiet after he disturbed us. Wanafunzi wakamwambia, mwambie ende zake anatupigia makelele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And verse 25. Verse 25. The woman came again. Naye akaja. Worship Jesus. Akamsujudia Yesu. Lord help me. Akasema Bwana unisaidie. Jesus said it is not me to take the children's bread. Yesu akasema sio swala mimi kuchukua chakula cha watoto. Cast it to a dog. Na kuwatupia mbwa. And the woman said truth Lord. Yeye mwanamke akasema ndio bwana. The dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master. Lakini hata mbwa hula makombo ya anguka mezani pa bwana zao. Jesus said to her oh woman. Ndipo Yesu akajibu akamwambia. Mama imani yako ni kubwa. Be it unto you as thou hast. Iwe kwako kama utakavyo. Her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Akapona binti yake tangu saa ile. It does not take no to an answer. Imani ya mabavu haikubali hapana kama jibu. Rise up on your feet. Simama. Rise up Simama. Aya la bosha katolia bandolia bala bala ba. Aya le ya boshi kali ya basho le bala ba. In Matthew 14 verse 35 to 36. Mathayo 14:35 to 36. And they receive perfect healing. Ana sana wengi waliomtambua wakamgusa akapokea upunyaji. Only the violent take their portion in the kingdom. Ni wale wenye nguvu ndio wanaochukua fungu lao katika ufalme. Fight a good fight of faith. Vipige vita vizuri vya imani. I must take my healing today. Lazima leo niondoke nikiwa nimepona. You want to take your healing now. Kuna mtu uko hapa unataka kuondoka na uponyaji wako. By this word I've heard today. Jiambie kwa neno hili nililosikia leo. My faith is alive. Imani yangu iko hai. Jesus heal me. Bwana Yesu niponye. Why like that blind Bartimaeus? Lia kama yule kipofu katuma. Jesus the son of David. Mwana wa Daudi. Niponye jioni ya leo. Open your mouth and cry to God. Open your mouth and cry to God. Kukua kinywa chako na mwapema. For all our brothers in the viewing centers cry to God. Na wote tazama katika The healing virtue is in the house. Nguvu ya uponyaji iko hapa. I am the blessed of the holy abandoned ba. Ashua kia teke to kito shia kalando. Shuandeka braka to lika do belisha. Open your mouth and cry. ฉันก็ไม่รู้ว่าเขาจะไปไหนฉันก็ไม่รู้ว่าเขาจะไปไหนฉันก็ไม่รู้ว่าเขาจะไปไหนฉันก็ไม่รู้ว่าเขาจะ
the healing Jesus heal tonight heal tonight let every sickness and family oh break out be healed let every negative medical report be reversed now he could shock all on the baby shwaka balika to brilia ashwande keto brilia ba ashwande keto brilia ashwaka balando keto brilia ba ayando brilia palabalaba e kulando belande e shwaka la braka tolia if your faith say yes tonight god will not say no if your faith say yes god will not say no oh engage your faith with it fight a good fight of faith and lay hold on your instant healing today fight a good fight of faith ayala bakato receive your healing now 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 that sickness lose him and let him go every demon of sickness afflicting your your body with sickness and in the name of jesus out 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 out, 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 now in the name of Jesus. Oya lando katusha kaba liando eshua kia tusha baliando biria eshua kia talaba that pain disappear now that fibroid will disappear now that syphilis will disappear now that spirit of insanity out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ that diabetes die now that headache die now that HIV virus die now every blood related disease you are caused now in the name of Jesus that terminal disease be terminated that hepatitis you are caused in the name of Jesus Christ. Every pain in the body, you are caused now. Iki tolia baba. That ulcer in the name of Jesus, you are caused. Lose her and let her go. Lose him and let him go. Shuakala, brakato shalaba. Obeke teke tolia baba. Thank you, Jesus. Asante so. In Jesus' glorious name. Katka jina lau tuko flies. Somebody shout a louder amen. Kaza amena. Jesus told that man. Yes, sorry, mambe ulem. Your sins. Be the Bible says in Psalm 103, verse 2, Mbili. He, he forgiveth all our iniquities. Yako yote. Verse 3, Tatu. and he let all our diseases. Na yako yote. Forgiveness and, and healing go hand in hand. Msama na if you are not ready to repent, Kama hauko tayari kutubu, you will not receive forgiveness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you, uh, why did God, Jesus, told that man when they are bringing your sins are forgiven? Because sin is a hindrance to healing. Hosea chapter 7 verse 1. When I will have healed Israel, when I will have healed Israel, the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered. And the hand of healing was set back. Praise the Lord. Your name can be that Israel. The hand of God is stretched out to heal. But is there iniquity in your life? Repent. Tubu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you shall receive forgiveness. Utapoke ya msamaha. And that sickness will be over. Na uo ugonjo toondoka. Somebody is here tonight. Uko hapa jioni ya leo. Who want to say Jesus. Unataka kumwambia Yesu. Come into my life. Ingia maisha ni mwangu. Be the Lord of my life. Uwe buwana na mokozo maisha yangu. Oh, I desire healing today. Natamani kupona jioni ya leo. But this one have to be done first. Lakini lazima kwanza uo koke. I'm sorry for what I've done. Ni msame kwa yale yote niliwa fanya. Have mercy on me. Ni nehemu. It's a simple prayer. Ni ombi dogo sana. And he will forgive you. Na he ata kusamehe. It does not matter how it has been. Haijalishi imekuwa haje uko nyuma. He will wash you as white as white as snow. Ata kuosha na uwe mweupe kama theruji. And when he forgive, he forgets you. Na akisamehe maovu yako anayasameka na kusahau. He becomes a new creature. Unakuwa kiumbe kipia. All things pass away. Yote anapita. So wherever you are. Popote ulipo. You want to return to Jesus? Kuja ukoko unataka kuokoka? You want to surrender to Jesus? Unataka kumpa Yesu maisha yako? As I always do, put your hand on your chest. Weka mkono wako wa kulia kifuani. I want to pray for you. Nataka nikuombe. Wherever you are, put your hand on your chest. Popote ulipo, weka mkono wako wa kulia. I want to pray for you. Nataka nikuombe. And God will forgive you. Na Mungu atakusamehe. And heal you. 
na kukuponya na kubadilisha hadithi yako kama kuna yoyote ambaye hajaokoka njoo mbele nikuombe kama uko hapa hujaokoka njoo mbele kuombe njoo mbele kama unataka kumpa Yesu maisha unataka kupona njoo mbele kama unataka kumpa Yesu maisha yako God bless you. Piga makofi wakati wanakuja. God bless you. Come, come, come. Mungu akubariki, piga Yesu makofi. A new beginning for you today. Mwanzo mpya kwa leo. You want to return to Jesus. Come. Unataka kumpa Yesu maisha yako njombe. Njombe. Jesus will heal you. Yesu atakuponya. Not just you, your entire family. Sio tu kukuponya wewe na familia yako pia. Everything about you. Mungu ataponya kila kitu kinachokuwa. Come and follow this wonderful people. Njombe. Come, 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 come. Njombe. Tell him come into my heart. Come and be the Lord of my heart. I am tired of sicknesses and diseases. A new beginning is I desire today. Come, I'm still waiting for you. You have been born again, but you have missed it. Return. Until you return. It is not your turn to be healed. Come, 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 Tafadhali wewe uliyekuja hapa mbele rudia maneno haya kwa sauti sema bwana Yesu ninakuja kwako mimi ni mwenye dhambi nisamehe dhambi zangu nioshe kwa damu yako futa jina langu kwenye kitabu cha hukumu andika jina langu kwenye kitabu cha uzima asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa Amina. Father, thank you for these ones you saved today. Baba, sante kwa hao liyo wako leo. Let the grace that saved them keep them forever. Neema liyo wako iwatunze milele. In the name of Jesus, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Nina wafunika kwa dami ya Yesu. Any sickness in their body now. Ugonjo uote mili ni mwao. I command you out of their body now. Nina kuamuru utoke mwili ni mwake sasa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina kula Yesu. You are blessed. Mebarikiwa. Congratulations. Hongera sana. Please follow our church official. Tafadhali nenda na yule muudumu kwa. Make sure you are here on Sunday. Jumapili ya kikisha unakuja. Tunataka tukuone tena. People of God. Watu wa mungu. Every time we serve communion, we always receive instant healing. Kila wakati kuna pokuwa na ushirika mtakatifu kuna uponya. The combination of the communion and the word. Ule munganiko wa neno na meza habuana. Una uwezo wa kusambalatisha magonjo na maradhi. Lakini itakuwa tu kavile unavuamini. Kama unaamini ushirika mtakatifu. Anza kumwambia mungu nitaka po shiriki. Na pokea upunya juwangu. Anza kuomba. Wakati wa udumu wana kuja. Nina po shiriki ushirika mtakatifu. Kwa na yesu na pokea upunya juwangu. Na pokea upunya juwangu. Partake of the communion. I receive it. I receive it. Instant healing. Via the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Every sickness that cannot survive in the body of Jesus is not permitted to survive in the body of any partaker. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I receive it today. Somebody, are you praying? Declare in faith. I receive my healing today. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive it. By the power in the communion table today. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Now receive it. Receive it. All the Baba Baba Baba. All the communion tables set in the various various centers. The same virtue flowing here flows here. Father, by this communion, Lord, let someone return here today. Let that body be lifted. Let that yoke be destroyed. We overcome sicknesses by the power of the communion. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, take your healing via this communion table. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as your people pray, have desired and prayed. Watu wako kama walivo tamani na kuomba. So shall it be. Ndive teka vyo kuwa. This is a communion for instant healing testimonies. Hii ni meza abuana kwa jiri ya ushuda wa papo hapo. Watu wako na poshiriki. Whatever my heavenly father have not planted. Lolote ambalo baba yangu wa mbinguni haja lipanda. Let it be rooted out. Erika ngolewe. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina kwa yesu. Let every pain be healed. Kila maumivu ya kome. Let every disease be destroyed. Kila magonjo ya ondoke na kwa alibiwa. Katika jina yesu. Every blood related disease. Kila magonjo na usiana ya kidamu. Kwa dami ya Yesu Kristu We overcome you tonight In the name of Jesus Christ It is blessed It is communion for instant healing And let every partaker have a testimony to share In Jesus name Choir high praises High praises And sing Sing wonderfully Tuna kusifu baba Tuna kusifu baba
Jehovah Jai, Jehovah Nis, you are my Ebenezer, Jehovah Adonai, I give you glory, and a power majesty, you are the Lord, forever more Jehovah
If you need to go and do medical confirmation, go and do that tomorrow. You will not find that sickness anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. Please have your seat. We have to close now. Just call since they only to record them and call their, their testimonies. Sarah Samson, I came here while I had a stomach pain. During the word administration of the Holy Communion, I prayed uh, for healing and God has totally healed me. Hallelujah. Your healing is perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Go back your seat. It is perfected. Edina had back pain and leg who has healed after ministration of communion and praise. Edina. Hallelujah. You are healed in the Bona name of Jesus. Affliction shall not arise a second time. Tonisia Emmanuel, for a long time I have been suffering from waist pain. I was told to go for surgery, but I believe to go for healing and God has totally healed me Please in this service. God. It is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. This is the doing of the Lord. Wave your hand wherever you are and give him all the glory in Jesus' name.